In this module, we're going to be looking at the view a gene analysis, which allows you to look at the expression of a single gene within a specific data set. In this case, we're going to look at the neuroblastoma data set consisting of 88 tumors and run on the U133P2, which is an Affymetrix expression array platform. Uh, so under select type of analysis, we're going to select view a gene, and we're going to look at the gene MICN as an example here. So simply type in MICN and click proceed. And regarding the adjustable settings, we're not going to adjust anything at this time, and that is discussed uh, in the adapting R2 module. Simply click next. And here we are presented with what we call a YY plot. So you have two Y axes, uh, both showing the log two expression of your gene of interest and samples are ranked from the lowest expressing sample on the left to the highest expressing sample on the right. Uh, in this case, with a range ranging from just below six on the log two scale to up to 13 on the log two scale. Um, so what you can see here is that not only are you presented with the expression values across all samples, but you are also presented with a number of tracks or sample annotations below the graph, which correspond to that specific sample. Um, for instance, here we are shown uh, clinical data such as MCN amplifications within the tumor or the INSS stage of the tumor, and you can toggle over any of these uh, blocks or sample annotations, and you can see uh, those specific uh, annotations that are visualized. One can also toggle over the point itself on the graph and you can see which sample uh, you are talking about, in this case ITCC0021, and all of the associated uh, sample annotations uh, with that sample. So what you can see here is that there is a subgroup of patients that have a higher uh, expression of MCN and that seems to be associated with, for instance, the samples that have uh, MCN amplification down here. So the red are amplified and the green are non-amplified. Um, but what you may want to know is, are there associations between MCN amplification and some of the other uh, sample annotations which might not be easy to visualize uh, in uh, these tracks below the graph? So there are multiple ways of doing this. And the first example we're gonna show you is using the ClinySnitch option, which is here on the left uh, menu. So simply by clicking the MCN under ClinySnitch, we are then able to uh, see how the expression of MCN varies across the different sample annotation uh, sample annotations available for this data set. Uh, for example, in this case, we can see that in INSS or in the staging, there is a significant difference of MCN expression across the stages. Uh, so if we want to view how this looks, we can simply click view and we are then presented with this data in a box plot in this case, uh, where you can see that there is a significant difference upon a NOVA test. So there between groups, which in this case is stages of the disease, there is a difference of MCN expression. And in this case, you can see that there is a high uh, expression of MCN within stage fours. Uh, so that's one example of, of how you can look at a single gene expression across uh, different sample annotations. Um, one can also look at the ClinySnitch historic option, which in this case you click the executed in the old way and you are presented with it in a more, with the analyses in a more tabular form and you can see that then within each of these sample annotations, in this case the INSS stage, uh, you have all of the sub uh, comparisons that can be performed. Uh, so every stage against every other stage and in this case you can see that the most significant one which is highlighted here is between stage two and stage four. Uh, and you can again click on this and you are presented with it in a graphical form. Uh, and you can see that there is a statistically significantly higher expression of MCN uh, in stage fours compared to uh, the stage twos. So that was using the ClinySnitch option to, to view MCN and how it associates with tracks within your data. Uh, but you might want to be able to perform your own uh, group separations uh, using the single gene view uh, in the graph itself. So at the top left, you can see that there's an icon here that says filter or adjust settings. So if you click that, it brings you to the part of the page that is adjustable settings for your graph. And this is located directly below uh, the single gene view graph. Uh, in, so you can simply scroll down as well. Um, so one option that 
you might want to, to adjust on this graph is that you can see here that we are viewing five different tracks at once or five different sample, sample annotations. And that might uh, be a little bit messy for, for what you're trying to, to show for your graph. And you might only want to look at how does the expression of MCN, for instance, uh, compare to MCN amplification. Uh, so we can simply select uh, the tracks that we would like to visualize by, by clicking on track display selection and then viewing which uh, sample annotations or tracks are available uh, within this data set. And you can see the five that are currently switched on. So if we simply want to look at MCN alone or MCN amplification alone, we can simply click off the other ones and leave MCN amplification as the track that will be viewed and click adjust settings. And now we are presented with the same YY plot that we had before. However, we have cleaned up the tracks a little bit below and now we are only seeing the MCN amplification. And here you can clearly see that the high expressing MCN tumors are the same samples that have MCN amplification. Uh, there has been a slight change in narration voice, as you may have noticed. Uh, due to uh, structural improvements of R2, we had to uh, update this video. Um, so let me continue where we left off. Um, with the same graph, you might also want to see how distribution of stages within these tumors are distributed. So this is done by coloring the samples, for example. So if you scroll down again, um, under um, color mode, you can select color by track and then choose um, the INSS stage, click Submit, and here you can see that each dot on the graph is colored based on stage of the disease. And in this case you can see that the stage 4 samples, um, colored in red, are grouping more towards the right side of the graph, which also correspond with the MCN amplification. When we were looking at the ClinSnitch data, uh, we also we're able to separate the samples into different groups. Uh, this can also be done here. If we, for instance, instead of coloring the samples by stage of the disease, we would like to split up the graph by stage of the disease. We can simply achieve this by analysis, by setting the analysis type to gene versus track. Then select the track on which we would like to split. Then also a graph type can be chosen. We can go for a box plot here. And we have to declare again that we want to color by track. Click Submit. And now we are presented with a box plot where the samples have been split up according to the stage. And you can clearly see that there is a, a higher expression of uh, MCN in the stage 4 tumors. And the associated p-value of the ANOVA test is displayed above the graph. So those were some examples of ways that you can manipulate the graph itself to visualize the single gene that you are interested in from your data set. There are also other analyses you can perform using uh, the single gene analyses. Um, so for that we need to set the analysis type back to single gene. Click Submit. Um, which will bring us back to the original plot that we had. So here again, we have the samples that are listed from the lowest expression uh, to the highest expression of MCN. And if we hover over the data um, point of the highest MCN expressor, we can see that the sample it belongs to is called uh, ITCC0021. What we might want to know now is what other genes are also higher expressed in this particular sample. Um, in order to perform such an analysis, uh, you can see here on the right you have a button called um, Sample Overview. Um, when you click it, you are directed to a page where you can select uh, your sample. In our case, it's ITCC0021, which is the highest MCN expressor. If you click View Sample, you get to a page where you get the option to get the extremes of our sample. So by clicking Next, we're going to be provided with a tabular form of the genes that are the most highly expressed within the sample and the genes that are most lowly expressed in the sample. And again, by clicking on uh, one of the genes, for example, IGLL3P, you are again provided with the same YY plot as we had before, but now showing this gene, uh, which clearly shows that um, 
uh, that this sample is also the highest IGLL3B expressor. Um, say for instance that we would like to then use this figure in a publication. There is an option available within all charts, not only the within the single gene view. Uh, if you scroll down under more settings, uh, there's an option called uh, vector SVG output, which you can set to true, um, which will enable you to provide yourself with the vector-based graphic or SVG output, which will allow you to manipulate it in such programs as Illustrator or Photoshop. Um, so by setting it to true and clicking submit, you will then have the option here to download uh, a vector-based image as well, which you can simply right-click on and save as, or click on and be provided with the vector-based image.